OK. The first clue is a podcast. A podcast recently listened to. Let's see it. The Dateline podcast that's called Before the Storm. Hmm. Which of you three has pent up anger <laughs> and murder in their hearts? <laughs> Which one of you knows how to let it go? <laughs> Let's think. Megan, mm. why, were you, why were you listening to Before the Storm, the Dateline NBC podcast? Uh, that was my, one of my favorite episodes, mm. and I listen to it uh, every night before I fall asleep. <laughs> you like, yeah? Yeah. Do you listen to it when? At night when I fall asleep. Because that's when Dateline's on, I think, isn't it? It's a podcast, sir. Mm. It's on my phone. Mm. <laughs> it's whenever I want to play it. What was this particular episode about? Because Before the Storm sounds like a, a Megan Trainor song. Did it inspire you at all? It's actually really sad. You really want me to say it? Mm. Oh, a mother of two went missing. The perfect thing to listen to before bed. <laughs> I don't believe a word you say. Okay. I don't believe a word you say because it's yours, isn't it, Jason? <laughs> you listen to this before the storm. When I'm working out, <laughs> I adore Dateline. Mm -hmm. Generally, I listen to podcasts because I just don't have enough time in the day. Mm -hmm. So I just try to get the information that I need. And I'm a big, uh, Big Dateline fan. Mm. <laughs> and you listen to it while you're working out. Crushing yeah, weight, sir. I believe yes. you if you looked remotely like someone who works out. <laughs> <laughs> it's yours, isn't it, Kristen? Yes, it is. Why were you listening to this? Well, I think it's very well documented that I have an obsession with Keith Morrison and Dateline NBC. Mm. Mm. Once Keith Morrison and I had matching pop sockets on our phone, Mine was of his face, his mm. was of my face. Mm. Then I got a new one and I put a picture of him holding his phone with my face on the pop socket as the picture on my pop socket. Mm. And I love murder porn, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, you do. <laughs> and I know why. <laughs> because it's the perfect thing to listen to for anybody who is plotting to murder their husband. <laughs> Which we know you are! Let's bring up the next clue. It's a food order. It's from a, a restaurant called Health Nut. And it's an order of two spring rolls, two turkey sandwiches with extra soy, bacon and onion. Not sure it's healthy if you eat two of everything. <laughs> There's no way that's yours, Jason Momoa. Because you, I imagine, order 103 spring rolls. <laughs> Why did you order this? I'm getting in shape for this next role. I need to lose weight. Mm -hmm. I normally eat meat on, with my meat, but mm. I need to uh, tighten it up so the spring rolls are my go-to these mm. days. Yeah? Yeah, and, and turkey is, who doesn't love turkey? Take a little nap afterwards. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, I mean. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Soy bacon. Oh. And extra onion. Let me smell your breath. <laughs> Was it good? Well, well it's not onion. <laughs> Why did you order? Why did you order this, Kristen? Well, what was happening? I had health. Was, I don't remember what was happening, but I'll tell you that the Valley has the best restaurants. So you kind of sleep on it if you live in LA, but the Valley has the best restaurants. This is Here in you. Sherman Oaks. Mm -hmm. I'm a health nut. I love their spring rolls. My husband loves their turkey sandwiches. We must have actually just gotten done working out because I ordered the spring rolls, he ordered the turkey sandwiches. Two turkey sandwiches. He's a big boy. He's a big boy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's bring up the next clue. The next clue is a photo. What's the photo for maximum strength hemorrhoid <laughs> and fissure ointment? This would be much easier to guess if we played this game sat down. <laughs> What's going on, Momoa? <laughs> well... 
you know, I just got over the hernia surgery. Mm. And um, I'm not breathing properly and lifting properly, and so I, I, I squeezed one out. <laughs> and it's embarrassing, but it happens. And I just push it back in, but sometimes it comes back out. <laughs> and if it gets caught, this helps it. Okay. Yeah. It, it, okay. Soothing. Very brave of you to share this. <laughs> Kristen, mm -hmm. what's going on? Uh, Why did we take a photo of your hemorrhoid cream? Let me answer that question with another question. Mm. Have you ever oh, had a baby? The <laughs> Go on. Have Sorry. you ever had a baby? I have. Period. Do you know what can happen down there? Oh, I haven't had one you've literally had... myself yet. Right. So there's a lot that can happen everywhere, okay? And sometimes mm. there are lingering symptoms that you have to deal with, and I am not ashamed. Woo! Yeah. I that. So why, why did you take a photo of it? Because I wasn't the one going to the store to refill the prescription. My friend was, so mm. I had to take a picture of exact, not the prescription, it's over the counter, but I had to take a picture to know exactly because not all the creams work, guys. <laughs> they don't all work. I don't believe a word you say. Because <laughs> I think these are Megan Trainer's hemorrhoids. Aren't they, Megan? <laughs> Why? Why the cream? What's going down? I have hard poops. <laughs> And I found out I have an anal fissure. But, but I healed it with this cream. <laughs> and I have a picture of it, because my friend, he, he said, I have an anal fissure, too. He's crazy. <laughs> and he said, what's your cream? And I said, well, this is my cream. What's yours? Wow. <laughs> it really is all about that base, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> there is zero trouble. All right, that's all the clues. Let's recap. We've got a Dateline podcast. We've got the health nut. And we've got the hemorrhoid cream. <laughs> One of you is telling the truth. Two of you are lying. And I believe the owner of this cell phone is Megan Trainer. Will the owner of this cell phone please step forward?